In our last video, we looked at Sherman Williams Shoji White. We learned about its depth, its undertones, which white paint colors go with it, and we looked at some similar shades for comparison. In this video, we are looking at a whole whack of compatible paint colors. Now these can be for adjoining rooms, cabinets, accent wall, the inside of your front door, wherever you want. But because Shoji White is so friggin' flexible, I have tons of options. So get your pen and paper out, write down the ones that interest you, and I should have a review, or I will have one coming on my blog or YouTube for you to check them out. Are you ready? And I'm flying through these, otherwise we'll be here all day. So take notes. Sherwin-Williams Gray Matters. Gorgeous. Lovely gray with a green undertone, a cool green undertone. Wicked pretty with Shoji White. Jogging path, lovely grayish with a strong green. I'm in love with that. I'm in love with a lot of these. You'll hear that a lot. Benjamin Moore Iced Marble, a nice smoky gray with green blue hues. So pretty, kind of a coastal vibe on that one. Amazing gray, it is amazing, I love it. That's a nice grayish with a passive green. Love with Shoji White. So good, organic looking. Elusive green, a little bit more depth here. That looks really pretty. Great island color, accent wall. Techno gray, a little bit lighter. Love the green in that. And remember, just because a color says the word gray in it doesn't mean it is, because as you can see here, techno gray is a little bit more green than it is gray. So never judge a color by its name. Aloof gray, except for there's a color called Benjamin Moore Nacho Cheese, and it looks just how you would expect it to look. Aloof gray, oh my God, I love that so hard. Like for a coastal vibe, maybe you do your bedroom, your bathroom, that's aloof gray, so good. Gossamer veil, popular shade, oh, that's so pretty. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh yeah, heck yeah, look at that. Nice little palette there of Gossamer Veil. And what was that, Aloof Gray? Yeah, Aloof Gray, Gossamer Veil, Shoji White. Seriously, I love my job. It's so fun. Oyster Bay. Beautiful. Love it, great for an island inside of a front door. Sherwin-Williams Front Porch. That's a gray with a green blue undertone. You'll find that Shoji White doesn't look as pretty with grays with very little undertone, like Sherwin Williams Big Chill on the rocks. It's like they can work, but grays that have a little bit more depth, a little bit more undertone look wicked pretty with Shoji. Oh, like this one, Revere Pewter. Oh, so good. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Awesome. I haven't hit any losers in here yet. Benjamin Moore Elmira White. Yeah, that's a nice side-by-side uh, -side room partnership. Really pretty. If you don't want to hit any cool tones, want to keep things warm. Intellectual Gray. This is a little bit darker than what we looked at earlier, the Amazing Gray. Oh, what a cabinet color. I love that. Austere Gray. It's got a gorgeous green. Again, austere gray, you think it's gray. It's not. Sure, it has a big chunk of gray in it, but look at that gorgeous green. Comfort gray, love this color. Beautiful. Coastal, calming, spa vibe, really pretty. We're getting there, we're probably halfway through and I've still got some gorgeous ones, a couple of darker ones to come too. Sea salt, might be hit and miss. Yeah, that's pretty good. As soon as colors get more colorful, Shoji White gets a bit uncomfortable. So I say sea salt makes the cut, but I bet like I had Sherwin Williams rain washed somewhere. It's probably too colorful. So you wanna be careful that the color you choose has a good bit of gray in it so it's calm. Oh yeah, like look at this. Let's see what this looks like, Jubilee. See, like it has a little bit too much purple in there for the soft organic look of Shoji White. Gettysburg Gray by Benjamin Moore. That nice organic look, great island color, great accent wall color. Evergreen Fog, this has more green in it. Ah, so pretty. It's definitely on the edge of, I would say 
In the darker greens, you can have more color, but in the lighter greens, a nice gray base is nice with shoji white. You wouldn't want to hit it with too much color. Again, same goes with the previous ones we looked at. Dovetail, it's a beautiful island color. Great for the inside of your front door. Ooh, Benjamin Moore Charcoal Slate. Nice darker gray blue hue. Looks good. Scott, we're getting there. Cityscape, but these are also pretty. This is fun. Oh, that's a nice gray with a green undertone. Pretty. Beautiful cabinet color again. Ah, oh, rain wash. That's what I talked about earlier of colors that made me go a little bit too colorful. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. Shoji White likes colors that have more gray in them and rain wash pushes its luck. Too colorful, not my favorite. Basically comes down to clean and dirty. This is dirtier, this is cleaner. Sure, it's not a clean color, it has some gray in it, but it is cleaner than Shoji White and makes me a little uncomfortable. Probably same with this color, Stardew. Yeah, just a little bit too much color for Shoji White. It's more, Shoji White is probably more likely to handle a green with a bit of color versus a blue with too much color. Thunderous, ah, oh, so gorgeous. Same, I betcha, cast iron, pewter green. Those would be gorgeous too. I have a blog post on the best dark greens. Actually, I have a video on the best dark greens too. Keystone Gray, for those of you still with me, I know this video is long, but it's fun. Yeah, wicked. With trends leaning warmer, Keystone Gray is a great island color if your countertop can handle it. Silver Mist, that is a nice chunk of gray in it. Let's, actually, let's compare that to Rain Washed. Sometimes in these comparisons, it helps you see. So say, look, Silver Mist with Shoji White. Rain Washed. Shoji White just calms down that little bit more. Rain Wash is just, just a bit over the edge. Silver Plate. It's a gray with a bit more depth. And while it works, again, Shoji White's gonna like a gray with a little bit more undertone. Oh yeah, I have it. Like Argos. There we go. Check out this difference. So if you wanna partner some gray, make sure it has some good depth. Like I would be at least in the 50s for depth, like low 50s. So check out ooh, Argos versus Silver Plate. I mean, both offer a different look. I can't say one is bad, but I would say that Shoji White is a bit happier. That little bit more undertone in Argos. Okay. Analytical gray. Ah, so pretty. I know. Ah, I knew I'd love it. I do just grab a whack of color. So sometimes I don't really know what I'm looking at here until I see it. We talked about Sherwin Williams Big Chill earlier. So as you can see, it is okay with Shoji White. Yeah, they could be in adjoining rooms, but I wouldn't say they're well, yeah, depends on the look you're going for. I just lean into a gray with a bit more undertone. A new gray. Yeah, that's very pretty. I like. We're almost there ish. Worldly gray. Nice grays with very vague green hiding deep in there. And I want to show you so many colors because you all have such different homes, different finishes. If I show you 10 colors, there might only be two that work for you. If I show you a lot of colors, maybe you have a handful that you can sample. Then you have better chances of finding something you love, right? Kestrel white. Yeah, those could be in adjoining rooms for sure. I wouldn't put them together like cabinet wall combo, but baby fawn. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Just soft and subtle for those wanting to lean that bit warmer. Shatura gray, Sherwin Williams. Lovely, nice warm gray taupe, nice brown undertone in there. Egret white, did we look at egret white? Maybe not. Eh, they're okay. They're sometimes colors that are similar in depth, so they have similar-ish LRVs, although egret white's gonna be maybe four or five points lower than shoji white. So they just don't, I wouldn't say they're magic together. Brewster gray by Benjamin Moore. Ooh. That's really pretty. I like that. Seriously, we're down to like four or five. Anonymous, nice dark grayish with green. Oh, so good, right? Like if your walls are shoji white, you wanna do your front door, your island, your cabinets, like come to mama. 
Cyberspace, Wicked Dark Navy Blue. Sherwin Williams Eclipse. Oh, so pretty. So we picked up more green, but because there's more depth, it acts more like an accent, the Shoji White. Not that I would go much more colorful than Eclipse, but Grizzle Gray, nice gray green. Beautiful. Lastly, Night Owl, another beautiful green. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.